everyone, it's Anand Batani over here and today I want to discuss standard operating procedures and two tools that you can use to make your life a little bit easier in producing those, managing them, and uh, keeping them noteworthy. So the first tool is free and I'm sure a lot of people already know about it, it's called Google Docs. Uh, Google Docs will allow you to write everything out and you know keep a good copy of it and know when you last revise it and have different revisions so you can keep a version control of those documents pretty easily uh, without much effort from your end. Uh, it's a great tool and you can organize it onto Google Drive which is essentially a, a virtual folder kind of like a Dropbox if you're familiar with what Dropbox is uh, so you can store all your different SOPs within there and it's a really secure platform and it's, it also makes it really easy to share internally if you need to between your team members as long as you have a Google domain account or even another Gmail account you can share between staff and you know you can access control you can have access control for everyone so you can uh, take away access or give it for only a certain amount of time that's the great thing of Google Docs uh, the next one I want to kind of highlight is Process Street. Process Street is awesome. You know, you can make a whole process over there. Um, and after you make it, you can assign to people to execute so that once they finish it, they'll check off or they'll fill in certain fields that they need to for completing that task. And then uh, if, it, if you have the whole process sheet laid out on there, you can have it assigned to different departments and different people. So as they go through different check marks, they'll automatically assign it to the next person that's in that process. So, you know, let's say it goes from your clinical research coordinator to then you know your Q and A, uh, and then to maybe your finance department because you know you got to send the invoices out to the sponsors. So you can have that easily streamlined and automated. Um, but it's going to cost you, I think, for a process suite, it's about ten dollars a month per user. Uh, they have different levels and uh, different benefits. So I'd look into the pricing. Uh, they're always updating and playing around with it. But hopefully these two tools help you refine your uh, standard operating procedures a little bit more and streamline the whole workflow with a little bit of software in your life. Uh, if you found these tools helpful, definitely like this uh, post or this video. Uh, share with your friends, of course. And then until next time, this is Anand Bhutani. Everyone have a good day.